Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to set up a spigot or craft bucket server for Minecraft 1.8. So go to this link and download whichever version you want. Uh, or you could uh, go to my previous video which shows you how to compile your own to the latest spigot version or craft bucket version. I would recommend spigot as it uh, seems to run a bit better and it's more configurable. So once you've done that, you will get uh, this jar file. So I'll cut this and put it in your um, your server folder. So uh, let's paste that there. And then we need to create a start.bat file. So uh, this is what I use for my server. This is way over complicated. You don't need to do this. Uh, there's a much more simple way, which I'm going to show you now. So uh, create a brand new text document. Uh, you don't need to name anything at the moment. Open it up and uh, type the following. Java hyphen XMX and followed by how many gigabytes of RAM you want. So if you want 1 gig, that's 1024, if you want 2 gigs, that's 2048, and so on, just however much you want. So um, add an M to the end of that, then do space hyphen jar, and the jar file is going to be called uh, just spigot.jar, so let's rename that, spigot.jar, and then hyphen O, true, hit uh, enter to go on the next line, and type pause. Then uh, we are going to save it as a bat document, so start.bat in our uh, server tutorial. And click save. Uh, close this, we don't need it anymore, you can just delete that. And then run it. So um, as you can see it's loading libraries. It will um, say there is uh, an issue because the EULA is set to false. So to make it work we obviously need to set it to true, like this, just save it very straightforward. And then start it up again. You will see your world spawning, your plugins folder, and all of this that you can edit. I'm going to go through uh, everything <coughs> once it's done. And uh, then you can uh, customize your own server. So um, it's nearly done. There it is. Just type stop. And uh, there we go. So um, this is your own server. First we have the plugins folder, you can obviously put as many plugins as you want here from Bucket or Spigot or Curse, that's where you can download them. I'll leave some links in the description so you can get them yourself. We obviously have our three world folders, you can uh, delete these and add more of them. If we go into our server properties, um, which I would suggest opening with Notepad++, uh, you can change whether mobs spawn, you can uh, change the max build height, spawn NPCs, you can customize all of this, allow the nether, you could uh, set that to false if you really wanted to, change the world name, and message of the day. So um, you may see some servers with uh, quite a colorful or animated one. Some require plugins, but uh, if I show you one of my servers, uh, let's go for this one for example, and open this up, you will see I have um, made my own using color codes. So it's slightly different to the color codes in game, as you need to do this uh, strange code before the uh, backslash U00A7, then um, a color code such as A, and then you can type like Minecraft server or something um, like this. So it's a bit different, but uh, still pretty straightforward. Um, so let's go with maybe a nice blue color and bold so Minecraft server there we go um, so you can uh, change this to however you want finally let's look in the spigot.yml which is where you can edit a lot of things about your server so this is why I prefer spigot to bucket as uh, you can change for example the growth modifiers at the moment there are 100 so they're normal but if you increase that to, say 200 it would grow twice as quickly and there's lots of other different things that you can change, such as uh, zombie pigmen spawning through portals and uh, various other things about your server. So uh, that's pretty cool. If you uh, close that, we are actually going to uh, start our server. So uh, it's over here. Let's uh, start it up. And the way to join it is um, actually add server. We are going to join it through localhost as it is hosted on your PC. And as you can see, uh, the color codes are working. This is bold and blue, and obviously that's green. You can join the server, 
and we will uh, spawn in the brand new world. It's going to lag a bit because uh, obviously this isn't fraps, this is uh, just a screen recorder. So I'll uh, minimize it. And you probably want to know a few commands you can op yourself, so you can uh, go in game mode and whatnot. Um, and obviously if you get more plugins, you can uh, use them and use permissions. So if you want plugins, obviously my channel, Numero Uno, Variation Vault, all have uh, hundreds of plugins that you can use, so that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much everything. Obviously, you stop your server like that. You can reload it if you change something, but uh, stopping it and changing something is more preferable. Um, so that is how you set up your own Spigot 1.8 server. That's how you edit it. And yeah, pretty pretty easy nowadays. It used to be a lot harder, I seem to remember. So if you have any problems with anything, comment down below. If not, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.